Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Sophie was a curious little red panda who loved nothing more than exploring the lush bamboo forests of the Himalayas. Have you ever heard of the Himalayan mountains? Yeah, these mountains reach across many different countries in the continent of Asia. Sophie lives in the mountain range in China. She was small and agile with a fluffy red coat and a big bushy tail that she used for balancing as she climbed through the treetops. Her black eyes sparkled with mischief. One, two, three, you can't catch me! Sophie called to her parents as they tried to call her in for bed. Sophie lived in a cozy den with her mother and father, and every day they would venture out into the forest to forage for bamboo and other foods. She weaved in and out of bamboo shoots, up trees, and back down again. (laughs) She was a very good climber, thanks to her sharp claws. And she had no problem at all balancing high above the ground thanks to that, you know, fluffy tail. Every night, Sophie would try to spend just a few more minutes exploring. Pretty please, Mom. Can I just play just a little longer? Sophie asked. Now, Sophie, we've been through this before. Without sleep, you won't be ready for the day tomorrow, her mom replied. Okay, I guess I don't want to miss out on anything in the morning, Sophie said. And with that, she rested her head on her mossy pillow and nestled in for a good night's sleep. Red pandas make their dens in many different places. They use hollow logs, holes in trees, and even thick bamboo. They line their nests with moss or something soft, like maybe some soft leaves. Sophie's cozy bed was tucked in a tall thicket of bamboo. In the morning, Sophie was eager to get going with her day. (gasps) She yawned and stretched her paws. She loved scampering around her den, investigating new sounds or interesting smells. This bright morning, she got a very strange smell and heard rustling in the bushes nearby. She crept closer with her heart pounding with excitement and peered through the leaves to see what could be making that noise. What could this be? She whispered to herself. To her surprise, she saw a group of very mischievous monkeys swinging through the trees, chattering and laughing as they played. (laughs) The monkeys called out as they chased each other. Sophie watched them for a while, mesmerized by their acrobatic moves, But then she heard her mother's voice calling her back to the den. Sophie, where are you? It's time for breakfast, her mother called out. Sophie sighed and reluctantly turned away from the monkeys, making her way back through the bamboo forest to the den. As she walked, she thought about the monkeys and wondered if she would ever get to play with them. Mom... I saw some monkeys this morning and I really wish I could play with them. (sighs) Sophie tried to get her mom to understand. Well, maybe you'll see them again, Sophie. After some yummy berries and a bunch of bamboo for breakfast, Sophie tried to go back to where the monkeys were playing, but they were gone. (sighs) I knew it. I wish I could have at least said hi. Sophie looked all around her home and didn't see or hear anything. She was feeling very disappointed and decided to head back home 
for the afternoon. She spent the rest of the afternoon feeling pretty sad. She even went straight to bed when her parents said so because all she could think about was playing with the monkeys and how she didn't get the chance. Just before closing her eyes, Sophie decided to gaze up at the stars. Oh, if only I, I, I could make one wish. I wish I... Hmm. For another chance to play with some new friends. Sophie whispered quietly and tried to find a shooting star way up in the sky. Once, her mother told her that shooting stars were like lucky stars. She did need a bit of luck, she thought. As Sophie gazed into the sky, her eyes got very droopy, and she soon fell asleep. Oh dear, will Sophie get another chance to make some new friends after all? Will her wish come true, or will she be left disappointed? Oh dear, I really hope she doesn't leave disappointed. We're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And I want to give some hellos to some critter protectors. Hey, Jonas from Utah. Oh, and Elizabeth from Utah. We got John from South Carolina. Hewitt from Oregon, Jace from North Carolina, Brody from Oregon, and Yuna from Los Angeles, California. I'm so glad that you're all critter protectors. We could not protect all the critters without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye!